In Ireland, these forests of native species are so rare. This is only one of a few, and it is a small forest, barely 60 acres. It seems really as though it has survived only by chance. I know this forest, because close by there is a very important tree, and it has a name. The tree behind me is probably my most favourite tree in the world. It's the tree that sits in my landscape, in the landscape of my mind when I'm living in Canada. And it stays there in my mind because it has a conversation with me all the time. This tree has borne witness to the landscape of Ireland for a thousand years and maybe even more. It is the Quercus Rober. It is the darling of the Celtic world. This woodland was a favourite of our last ordinary. And that was the High King of Ireland. And that man's name was Brian Baru. The druids that were at his side told him and advised him about these trees. The druids of ancient Ireland are often misunderstood. They were the elite educated class of this woodland culture. They served as spiritual leaders, lawyers, doctors, poets, composers, musicians, and astronomers. They had an extraordinary ability to observe nature. The oak on Dar was sacred to the Druids. It remains at the heart of many Irish legends. The oak could communicate with the heavens through lightning. 300 years to be born, 300 years to live, and 300 years to die, which is the history of an oak, almost a thousand years. When the tree gets to be that ancient, it has a great weight on the canopy. And when the wind comes on the canopy, it has a torque value on the trunk itself. And the torque value is like winding the top of a bottle of a jam jar. It tightens down on the trunk itself. And what that produces from the bark is something really interesting. It's a gallow tannin produced down at the end of the tree. It pours out like a form of molasses. And it was called Ishgadov on Ishgadov by the Druids. The black water, the healing black water. The tannic acid has also a hypertensive action on the skin. And if you've got bleeding on the skin, it sears it, closes up the wound, and it's like you just had surgery. That's what the Druids had in ancient Ireland. Medicine came from here. Medicines still do come from nature from trees. We've just forgotten. <laughs>